Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you how to install Banished on Linux. Um, Banished is a great game, um, I've been playing it for a bit, and it's a city building game with a survival element to it. So without further ado, um, first of all you need to download Banished. Um, best place to get it is from uh, shiningrocksoftware.com and you can go on the download uh, the buy and then uh, pay for it and then download it from the links you want to download the 64-bit version because this is what we'll be installing and it will have sound and uh, good quality graphics you can install it through Steam but you d there is no sound to it at the moment on Linux so um, play on Linux is actually um, still in beta so we'll have to wait for that. Um, the next bit of software that you will need is Wine and also what we call Play on Linux. Now um, you can get Play on Linux from www.playonlinux.com and I'll show you how to install it on Ubuntu system. Now first of all you need to get up your terminal and you need to add a key for the and you need to add the apt key for this and so write this um, down wget dash q and then the rest of that and then press enter and then you need to download the list now on Ubuntu 18.04 it doesn't have that. It has the um, Xenial list and it works fine on 18.04, um, the 16.04 repository. So you just add that and then you want to update at and then the command we want we want wine and play on Linux and you want wine stable so add those I've already installed those and so uh, we're good to go next um, you know, want to um, fire up play on Linux so go to our show applications and we'll have to search for it because it's there's no um, link to it in the menu and then once we've got that fired up we have to say install and we have to then go to install a non-listed program and then press through on next on this screen and then we go through the manual installation which we press next and then we want to install a program in a new virtual drive and we're going to call this one banished and we want to install some libraries and use another version of wine uh, we've already got the system one which is good enough it's um, 3.0.2 if it's not that you really do need to install make sure that you've got 3.0.2 um, on which I'll show you in a minute that you can see so you press next uh, we want 64-bit Windows installation and we we'll want to download some libraries so the first one we need is DirectX and so we've got DirectX 11 and we need also 
um, POL install X act as well so we need to check that they're the only two that we actually do need so that should be fine so we install those deals and then um, if you've not got the um, uh, 3.02 of wine the way to get that is that you go to tools manage your versions and then you would go down and find it which is there and skip it across to there and then it will install that and then you can choose that off the off the list so I've already got that installed you can see that it has to be the 64 foot version so open up your browser this here we need to install the um, application now so we're going to install banished from its installer so we go to where we downloaded it I downloaded it in my downloads folder and we want the 64-bit version because if we put this 32-bit version in it the sound doesn't work I've tried it and it doesn't um, you might prove me wrong and if so you can comment in the comment section about that anyway so here we are banished installer uh, 1.0.7 and 64-bit version open that up and say next and now we go through the setup and so yes next and we just really need to go through next on everyone and press install and that's finished that's installed that now we need to say that we want to put a, uh, a shortcut on our desktop so we want the application 64.exe say next and we'll rename that banished say next and no, we don't want to make another shortcut and say next now highlight banished and we need to configure that because we need to just go to display and see this GLSL support we need to just dis disable that and that's it um, we can double check we've got um, DX3 DX11 I mean direct uh, uh, so we can do that and then that's it turn that off and then we can press run and to see if we've got this installed all right press run ah, there we are and we've got the option screens this is the first time uh, run so you can see the graphics are on direct 9 that's okay um, and everything else is okay so press that and press play and we should load up and as you can see music and we also have the, the, um, the graphics here I can load up a new one and go for large fair yeah on starting conditions hard and press OK wait for it to load in and here we are and that's it we've got banished working um, so I will do a playthrough um, and show you how it's done and 
I shall do that in the next video. So, um, look forward to playing this game. I've not played it much, but um, it seems really good, and we'll see how we get on. It is either going to be a disaster or it's going to be a success. Anyway, see you until next time. Bye for now.